everyone. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry for not uploading videos sooner. Um, I'm sure everyone's finding this quite an interesting time. Uh, so I thought I would start off the season with a houseplant tour. So winter is usually quite a difficult time to keep houseplants alive. Uh, most houseplants are from tropical areas and so the dry, cold environments in a winter house usually is probably the worst thing for a house plant. Um, my house is a bit different. I've got a lot of fish tanks so the humidity uh, is sort of maintained from the tropical fish tanks. Um, so my house plants have fared pretty well this season. Uh, the key is however keeping the watering down. A lot of the house plants will be dormant in winter which means they won't be using as much water. So it's very easy to overwater them. And because they're not using that water, it uh, leaves the plant open to fungus and root rot. So some of my plants, I haven't actually watered the whole, whole two, two months of winter and they've been actually doing fine. Um, that's something I've learned from trial and error. Last year I had a lot of begonias and I continued watering them as normal through winter and they all died of root rot. So with my begonias, I've been particularly cautious not to water them at all, and so far they're doing well. So let's start here, which is the shadiest part of my house. It's a south-facing window, so it only gets about maybe a half an hour of light in the afternoon. I'll start at the top. So this is a Hoya Multiflora. Um, recovering from mealybug. That's a jellyfish succulent. I've got another Hoya there, Pothos, small Monstera, um, uh, Boston Fern and some Pothos cuttings. You can see there's a lot of Pothos here. That's mainly because they do well in low light. This is a more humid part of the house uh, owing to that tropical fish tank. So the water tends to evaporate onto the plants above. So there I've got a spider plant, which looks quite happy, as well as some pothos cuttings uh, in there, and some air plants on that wood. Here it's an east-facing window, so it's essentially a perfect environment in terms of light for house plants. I've got a few Hoyas up there, chain of hearts, um, I've macrameed those plant hangers myself. I could do a tutorial later on that. Got another Monstera here, an umbrella plant, jade plant, and that's a variegated ficus. So these are all quite hardy. That's the Ripsalis, and these plants require medium light. This is Willow. She's my uh, Garami who lives in the tropical tank. She's a bit feisty. Here is my goldfish tank. Um, I've got a video on how it started off about six months ago. It's doing quite well now. The plants are really filling out the tank. This isn't a tropical tank, so it doesn't create as much humidity, but I've just got my propagation vessels up here. That's some Ripsalis and spider plant that I'm growing. Some more Ripsalis uh, cuttings. And this is the dragon tail plant. Here's the peace lily. This one's looking a bit dehydrated at the moment. Might have to water that. This is one of my favorite houseplant areas. Um, I've got a tier here. There's three levels uh, of plants and they get east facing sun. So they get morning sun. Uh, so there I've got a neon pothos. That's a Hoya Bella. It's quite difficult to find that one in Australia. Um, there's a Hoya Crimson Queen. That's the Maranta Mosaica, which I believe has been given a different name now. Uh, that's one of my favourite plants. Uh, next to that I've got a string of pearls that I'm growing from a cutting. This is a really hardy begonia that's done well. This one's a um, uh, Maggie, oh, I can't remember the genus name, but 
you, I feel a dendron nagging and you can see it's not looking too happy. Um, I'm hoping it'll recover once spring comes along. The Maranta, it's got those dry leaf tips again. I'm going to blame winter for that. Um, this is the Philodendron Princess, Pink Princess. My one's not particularly pink. And not a great fan of this plant, I must say. This is my Hoya Sweetheart down there, Carrii, which um, is one of my other favourites. I've got, uh, this is called a Watermelon Begonia which is a bit of a misnomer, it's not a begonia at all, but it's quite a nice plant. These plants hide the mess in my kitchen and they also get some east-facing sun. Here are my begonias, so I've not watered these at, at, at all, essentially, during winter. And they're looking a little bit sad, but they'll survive. Some hoyas there, that's a kentia palm, uh, one of my favourites. Got a little house spider here, so I tend not to kill the house spiders because they actually kill a lot of the fungus gnats as well as other bugs on the plant. So I've got a bit of an ecosystem here. This is interesting. These are spider droppings, which I found look just like the tiny bird droppings. Um, that's a Hoya. Sorry, I can't actually remember the names of all the Hoyas I have, but I'll go through them later. Um, that's a, uh, it's a heart leaf philodendron. So this one's got suckers that have been sticking onto the wood, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, these are just the plants on the kitchen bench, some ripsalis, uh, hoyas. This is the fiddle leaf fig. Um, this one is a saxifrage, um, a strawberry Begonia plant, it's got little plantlets which hang. That's the Scadapsis, I'm probably pronouncing these all wrong. Um, here's a plant I made from a lot of cuttings, Ripsalis cuttings and string of pearl. I really like the spider plant at the moment because it's given me a lot of these little cuttings. I've got this in a pot that I got from wish.com a while ago. These are the, some jewel orchids that I've got. Um, Again, they're looking quite unhappy. I'm going to blame winter, but they're pretty hardy compared to other orchids I've found. And I've got them in this two pot system just to help keep with drainage. It's an African violet, another jewel orchid, um, that's a Ripsalis. This is a different type of jewel orchid with a darker leaf. Um, these are my lithops, so I've done a video on those previously. And another begonia. Got a lot of hanging baskets here, which, again, my favourite spider plant, as well as a lot of hoyas. This is an east facing window, which is perfect for hoyas. You can also see the camellia out there, which is in bloom. Um, and this is a hoya of hoya the I really like these round leaves. This is the laundry, which actually gets the most sun in winter, uh, but not much sun in summer. So it's a good place to put those finicky plants that may not survive winter. Got a few of the begonias here. Um, I've got some other hoyas. This one's actually putting out new growth in winter, which I thought was pretty interesting. Oh, this plant is a failure. This is a variegated hoya carii and each leaf is just slowly rotting and dying. I've heard that root rot is very common in these variegated hoya carii so I'm not sure how to fix that. Just putting it in the sun and hoping for the best. Uh, I've got a few more hoyas here. These are some really thick leaf ones so I figured they'd be able to handle more sun. Um, again in winter they're not really doing much, they're quite dormant but surviving. So thanks for watching. That's it for the winter houseplant tour. Hopefully uh, in summer I'll have some more updates for you. Um, there's a lot of work I've been doing on the backyard as well and in spring um, I'm expecting it to look a lot more lush so I could do an out plant, out plant, outdoor plant tour.